Hi, this is Michael D. Freeman with Cinema ATL, and believe it or not, I have four good things to say about the Emoji Movie. Number one, much like the main character in the movie, it's meh. And actually, this is a good thing, because if you've read the reviews uh, in Rotten Tomatoes or online, you might think this movie is awful, but it's not. It's actually just meh. There's not a lot to it. There's not a big plot. There's not a lot of action. There's not just not a lot of stuff goes on, and it's just there. Um, one of the main highlights, though, is number two, uh, James Corden. He plays the character of High Five, um, who's like the sidekick. Uh, he gets all the good jokes in it. He's funny. He's humorous. His voice work is good. Um, I like James Corden uh, in general, and he's pretty decent in this, and it doesn't really elevate the material too much, but, you know, he's good at what he's done done in this, so uh, that's a good thing to say, I guess. And then number three, um, it's pretty short, <laughs> so you don't have to suffer too long. Um, even though it's not a bad movie, um, it's just not great, especially for adults. Um, it's only 86 minutes long, so you're not stuck in the theater, um, you know, trying to get this movie over with, and it's pretty short. And, uh, number four, uh, my kid liked it, so, you know, it does what it was aiming for, it appeals to, to children, uh, as an adult, you're not gonna find much in it, um, there's some kind of funny jokes with some of the, the emojis, but that, they don't really spend enough time, you know, talking you know, having the other emojis interact with our main character of Gene, who's the meh in the film, um, except for High Five and the other character of Jailbreak. And I think it's kind of boring, actually. It seems like there's a huge world, but they seem kind of encapsulated into this small region of this phone. Um, so anyway, you know, like I said, it's, it's just, it's meh. It's a very appropriate uh, main character for this movie. And overall, I would give it a grade of uh, C minus. It's just there, you know? So, you know, if your kid's looking for something to do, it's not a bad movie to go to. But otherwise, I suggest passing on it. And you can wait until it comes out for free on uh, on demand somewhere. That's, that's it for now. Uh, I'm Michael D. Friedman, and this has been Four Good Things.